Nobody, nothing. I hear you. Hi. How are you? Hello. Uh, congratulations on a fantastic win, a performance befitting of a samurai, I thought. Um, when you were in there and he was landing those calf kicks, did you know that you were going to have to come through that adversity or did you just think, hey, he's right where I want him? Both. Both, yeah, because I wanted to, to target his, uh, my targets, to target him. And uh, sometimes you need to, you have to sacrifice something. And these calf kicks was, for me, was good. Were anyone, did any one of them really start to compromise you or were you doing okay with them? I was okay with them, but uh, I think the fourth, fifth one was I felt, felt one, I felt one. And uh, that I f that then I realized like I have to do something. I have to work more. I can't just uh, dance around him and uh, catch the calf kicks and uh, some punches, yeah. How much did those comments he made motivate you and, and want you to fight harder in this contest? How much what? How many of the, those comments he made before saying you're not a samurai and all that? Oh, the comments, yeah. You know, uh, maybe I was a little bit, I was glad for, for, for somebody like Alexander. I, ha I, I have to ch fight right now because after that uh, fight in uh, New York, I felt like I need to push. I need some push, like from some opponent who who will be a little bit aggressive, who will be the like tough, like tough guy, yeah. And uh, Alexander was really, uh, especially like that. And next up for you, you said in the cage, you want the winner of tonight's main event. Do you think that's likely for you next? You think what? What? You want to fight the winner of tonight's main event? Yes. Yes. Yeah. And do you think that's likely? Do you, are you hoping the UFC will give it to you, or do you think maybe Anka Live could get it, and you have to fight him? What do you? You know, you know. It doesn't matter for me. For me, is right now most important to be to to improve myself <laughs> in on the training and to take this ex no exercise fuck uh, experience from tonight to the next fight. As soon as I, as soon as possible. So because I'm still learning, I'm still learning how to connect my uh, like that violence and that hound instinct with the mastery, with the technique, with uh, present moment to keep it in uh, in one. So so and especially after last fight, after that. Uh, decision last decision of the fight i believe i deserve it i've just yep. got, i've got one for you real quick um there was a video going around twitter today of what looked like you outside of t-mobile la late last night can you talk to me a little bit about that i'm assuming that was you yeah that was me and uh that's my rituals which i'm doing before every fight When you are like peaceful in a quiet in yourself and when you you are really connect to yourself to the best version of yourself and when you know what uh, will come what what is before you like one day or two days or week doesn't matter you have to work on that every day it's a name, I name, it's, the world's named that like law of attraction. So you have to just follow your vision in a honest way. In the video there were a few fans that were kind of watching you and it looked like they wanted to come take a picture or say hi. In that moment, would, should fans leave you alone or are they okay? Because they, <laughs> I don't know if they ever did, but... Man, I'm I'm not a a, a psycho. <laughs> oh. They're very scary. You, yeah, yeah. In a good way. Yeah, sure, but <laughs> doesn't matter. We can talk. We we can whatever. But it's there is a 
there is a time when everybody wants to be alone with my, with our things. That's my kind of meditation. That's something when I started in my 16 year old on the school, on the high school with these things to watch my vision of my best version in, in this life and follow them. And and this was that that video when I'm doing this, these things because when you really want something, it's not you want something, that dream, that vision wants you too. And you have you have to just your work is to stay courage, courage and courageous and take action. That's all. You're in the front right here. Um, during the fight, the commentary was noting that you just kept walking forward with your hands down even when Alexander would land punches. And they said that it didn't seem like you respected his power in there, that you felt you could walk through I, it. I didn't respect his power. That's what it seems like. They were saying it seems like he doesn't respect his power because you kept walking forward with your hands down. So uh, what was going through your minds with that strategy? That, that was something what, what was uh, what's inside me that I have every time that problem that I have had to I have to show to my opponent you have nothing to me yeah but I'm trying to be more professional because with the guys like Pereira it's not good to to catch any any of punches yeah so that's why I'm working for of the head movement like a flash like uh, sure. like a shadow does it bother your coaches when you put keep your hands up? Yeah, but they know me. They, they know me. And that's the reason why the fight with, doesn't matter, fight with Pereira uh, was stopped a little bit earlier. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We are here and now, and I'm looking what is before me. Yuri, are you going to be uh, going back in the arena to watch the main event cage side? Will you be going back and watching the main event? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. now you ask me, yeah, I will go there and watch the, watch the we, fight. But because they want to s send me back to a hotel, no. I will go there and watch the fight. Yeah. Will, will you ask the UFC if they'll let you go in the cage? Sometimes after the main event, because you want the winner, uh, is that something you're going to ask the UFC? Thank you for this idea. I will do that. Okay, there we go. Um, and uh, just my, my next, uh, my last question, um, when would you like to fight again? Um, this was obviously a, like... As soon as possible. And do you want to fight again in Vegas? There's International Fight Week in June. Would, would you like to fight on that? So, uh, sounds good. There we go. Thank you. You see, you, you see I, uh, when did you know uh, that Rakic will uh, be knockouted? In the... Uh in the end of the in the first round and when i saw him when where when he's sitting uh, in the in the first round and i when i catch the breath li very lightly and uh, and i saw him like uh, like i see himself like his spirit i i see him re right, like truly because he tried on the start, he tried to be uh, tough, really tough. And after a few more uh, changes, and uh, after a few more punches, you will see there is uh, everybody's a little bit changing the, the mask, which uh, which they which how they step in the octagon, and uh, you can see better them. And when I saw him, there was a find to way how to win. Uh, Jerry back here. Jerry? Right. Wait back. Uh, Jerry, congratulations. I was wondering, you've had big fights, main events, winning the title. This is a big card. The energy is electric. Can you just uh, explain what it's like for you to get that big victory and hear that crowd in a moment like this tonight? <coughs> For me, it was not just too much about the event, but after my last fight in New York with Ferreira, it was for me important to 
to make a spark inside inside myself to to f to show to my, to myself that storm that 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 hunt that hunter inside myself and uh, i'm i'm very glad for that very glad Thank you. back here congratulations on your win great performance Thank one you. thing that you are known for is your ability to finish fights with all but one of your wins coming by way of finish you know it seems to be part of your signature style and you mentioned that you're trying to clean up your defense a little bit with the head movement in, in the rematch with Pereira, if that plays out. Should we expect a more defensive version of you? Or do you feel like if you get a little bit too defensive, that could change your style and kind of take away the finishing ability you're known for? That's why, that's why I worked a lot on the defense, uh, this preparation. And, uh, that was the main point on me uh, that do not forget to go forward yeah punches kicks doesn't matter what i go forward go forward see him see him he's like uh, like a prey and uh, and catch him that's uh, that's something what's like i need to connect this mastery with that hunt instinct yeah does Rakic hit nearly as hard as Pereira? No, 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 no. Uh, Rakic was, he tried to push that, that punch is too much. There was a too much, too much uh, like force, not the power.